What's up, everybody? It's your boy Pete from the basement, and I'm here to talk with you about Batman. Now, there has been a lot of information and a lot of rumors going around about Michael Keaton suiting back up as Batman, being in the Flashpoint movie, Batman Beyond, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So, let's clear the air. Let's get everything straight right here, right now. All thanks to our boy Mikey the Shadow Sutton. Let's talk Batman. This was originally released on Midnight's Edge, Pop Culture Minefield, and Wild 94.1 FM in Tampa Bay, Florida. When the Hollywood trades revealed that Michael Keaton was in talks to reprise his role as Bruce Wayne in the upcoming Flashpoint film, and possibly other roles in the DCEU, it wasn't the first time that he had been discussed to return. A live-action Batman Beyond was considered before, but Warner Brothers felt there wasn't sufficient interest to greenlight the film. That changed with AT&T, who sees the IP as ripe for 90s nostalgia, which is about to hit full bloom in the near future. Not only that, but it's yet another way of expanding their hugely successful Dark Knight properties, which we know they always just fall back on anyway. Especially on HBO Max, where they're currently pushing most of their new content. According to our boy Mikey's sources, although no development has begun, a live-action Batman Beyond is being talked about again. For HBO Max, as a matter of fact. If they could net Michael Keaton for it, the possibility of this coming to fruition greatly increases. AT&T is quite excited about the commercial and social media buzz Keaton in Batman Beyond could generate. Only time will tell if Keaton is similarly thrilled with the idea. I mean, if he signs up for Flashpoint, why wouldn't he sign up for Batman Beyond as well? It just seems natural. And... A lot of people are still saying, oh, well, he's still in talks, still in talks. And of course, those talks could still fall through. But I'm I'm pretty hopeful. We're going to say it right now that Michael Keaton is going to be Batman again. So for all you 80s and 90s kids, this is going to be a moment to revel in. To add to this rumor, there's also the idea that Johnny Depp is being eyed to play the Joker. We've all heard these rumors before of Depp being considered for the role of Gotham's Clown Prince of Crime, but it seemed to always lean more toward Matt Reeves' new Batman movie. Perhaps not so. If Michael Keaton signs, that would heavily influence the return of Tim Burton, who would then heavily influence the addition of Johnny Depp, the pair being no strangers to working together. This would all ideally culminate in a live-action adaptation of the fan-favorite Batman Beyond Return of the Joker. I don't think I need to tell you how awesome this could possibly be. We've all seen Return of the Joker. It's an amazing cartoon. Especially when you factor in some of those really crazy deleted scenes. The final icing on the cake is the rumor that Michael Keaton's bat suit could possibly be inspired by the Kingdom Come Batman suit. Though Mikey says that's a bogus rumor... I hope it happens. Honestly, I love it. Michael Keaton would want to get in on the action, fight the Joker himself. I think it's all a great idea. Imagine the scene that we never saw watching Batman Beyond as kids with Terry and Bruce fighting side by side. That would be awesome. To add to this, courtesy of Midnight's Edge and Pop Culture Minefield, thanks to the Mikey Sutton 4th of July scoop jam, if the Snyder Cut banks the way AT&T hopes it will, this will open a lot of doors for the future of the DCEU. There is a good chance you will see Ben Affleck return as Batman. According to Mikey's sources, though no official talks are underway just yet, Affleck is reportedly on board to fulfill the script he wrote that was originally blocked by Jeff Johns and the rest of Warner Brothers. You know the one, with Joe Manganiello's Deathstroke being the main villain. The one we're all looking forward to that never happened. This will be a one-off film and have nothing to do with Matt Reeves' as Batman. Sorry, Robert Pattinson. Looks like you may have to share that bat signal spotlight. Right now, a lot hinges on the success of the Snyder Cut. So, thanks, Mikey, for all of this information. Here's hoping that that deal with Michael Keaton goes through because this kid wants a reprisal of the 89 Batman movie. Hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss a minute of all the crazy basement hijinks we got in store for you for season 13. Pete's Basement is still going strong during quarantine. We got toy unboxings. We got movie reviews. 
TV show reviews, live streaming episodes, all sorts of things. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Peach Basement is copyrighted 2020, Ripped Productions. All rights reserved, so go fuck yourself. I really can't believe 90s kids are gonna be 30. What the fuck?